Hey, what's going on guys? I want to do a quick video talking about some alternative ways to carry your Zippo fluid. This is obviously too large to be carrying around in your pocket. Um, but I would say, you know, most people don't really carry around fluid. These, this video is more for the people who are using their Zippos day in and day out. Perhaps a gearhead, you might have a, a bag on you of some kind. And, you know, this being too cumbersome, you might look for other alternatives to carry a smaller amount of fuel. Now, Zippo does make their own brand of fuel canisters about yay long. I've done videos on them in the past. In fact, there's a lot of ripoffs out there um, that aren't Zippo brand but work almost as well. And you could probably find it for like five bucks or so. But I found another way to carry around a Zippo fluid and it's worked out perfectly. Now, a little disclaimer here, I've used this for about a month so far and there's no issues whatsoever. But because this is fuel and because this, these are plastic bottles, I don't know the long-term effect on the bottles from the fuel. Meaning, I don't know if the fluid is going to kind of eat through the plastic and maybe have it uh, leak on you. But I can tell you they work for at least a month I'm assuming they're going to work um, indefinitely. You know, you could probably have the fluid in here for many months, but that is only an assumption. I can only guarantee a month from my experience. Anyway, these uh, little bottles are uh, good for e-liquid. If you're um, a vaping and you want, let's say you buy like a 30 milliliter bottle and you want to divide it up among, amongst friends or family or maybe just for travel purposes, like you don't want to travel around with the 30 milliliters or even like a, a 20 milliliter bottle, you can um, divide them into smaller bottles. Now, of course, they make all different sizes. These are five milliliter bottles. And I found these, these to be perfect little fuel containers. All right. Now, these are super cheap. And again, you can find them in all different sizes. Basically, there's a bunch of parts in here. We have the cap, we have the little dripper part of it, and then we have the empty bottle, okay? Now, it's very straightforward. All you're gonna do is you're going to take your fluid. Okay, so let's open that here real quick. Everything's harder to do behind the camera. If you don't make videos, you don't know that, <laughs> but yeah, the simplest tasks are harder to do behind a tripod and camera. So anyway, we're going to carefully fill this bottle up with our fluid. And I want to make sure not to fill it all the way, right up to about that neck, because I want to leave a little bit of room and air space for this dripper tip, okay? So pop on the dripper tip, push it down until it's all the way seated. And now we have a way to dispense our fuel at very small amounts at a time plus for travel this thing's tiny now what's cool about these is that they have the security seal on there so once you lock this shut it's not going to open by itself you actually have to crack the seal to get into it it's actually pretty difficult to do so you don't have to worry about kids breaking into this there we go all right so crack the seal say i want to Fill my Zippo up right now, flip it over, and drip in whatever, whoop, we don't need that anymore. Drip in our fuel. Okay, now I found that a five milliliter bottle can be fully absorbed by the Zippo, but it's almost to the point where it's overfilled, okay? So this will completely fill a Zippo from bone dry and have a little bit left over. You shouldn't need a full five milliliters of fluid in there for your Zippo to be functional. But um, yeah, just a, a cool little tip for me to you. These things are super cheap. If you're into vaping, it makes sense to buy these anyway to divide up your juices. So just a quick little uh, safety note as well is that I would not recommend putting these directly in your pocket, although the cap is very strong and especially with the uh, security seal. Um, there's nothing saying this thing won't rupture if you happen to you know bump into something or squish it the bottle itself might uh, you know, crack or leak, and having lighter fluid directly on the skin can be a very strong irritant to the skin, if not actually cause an alcohol burn. Okay, so I do not recommend carrying it on your person in your pocket. Um, I would only suggest using this type of method for you know, perhaps leaving it in a glove box in a car so you always have it by you, or perhaps in some kind of a bag um, to further protect the, um, you know, your, your bag, your stuff, and you, if you have maybe a uh, medicine bottle or a pill bottle or something, you could drop a couple of these in there or even a larger one and carry it that way. So th if this bottle itself did leak, you'd have a secondary container to, uh, to capture that fluid. 
But anyway, quick little tip, it's more working out great for me. And I just literally throw this in uh, a pouch in my go bag um, inside like a hard shell container so it can't get squished or uh, damaged. And it's been working out great. I'm able to carry lighter fluid with me. Uh, I've only had one occasion where I did fill up my Zippo. It wasn't completely empty, but one a little fluid and I had it with me, so I used it. So just a quick tip for the Zippo people out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any comments or questions, post down below. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Take care.